23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Mike Hart. Here's a look at what we're following on this Friday. State officials have announced they're implementing another round of stay-at-home orders as a result of the drastic increase in COVID cases. Non-essential businesses will be asked to close from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m., while essential businesses like grocery stores can remain open. That order in effect tomorrow through December 21st. Uh, if, it's not, if you don't need to be out after 10 o'clock at night to 5 o'clock in the morning, then stay home. Uh, you know, we're in, we're in a... Uh, pandemic that's really escalating. So we strongly support people to, to, to do that, but it's an individual choice and, and responsible people will do what they do. Sheriff Youngblood went on to say he will not enforce the order saying he doesn't agree with it, but he does encourage our residents to be responsible. Now the BPD says it has not received any official directive from the state and their primary focus is emergency calls. Meantime, the World Ag Expo in Tulare is going virtual next year for the first time in its 52-year history. The expo that draws in people from all over the world is currently scheduled to be held February 9th through the 11th online. Events and seminars will be held from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., but content will be available on the net around the clock for virtual attendees. It will also be available now all year long. Right now, let's bring in Elena and get a check of that Friday forecast. Hey, good morning. So that cooler, cleaner air keeps coming on shore. There's a nice healthy breeze over Kern County, keeping temperatures down a few degrees with passing clouds, but you see no rain in that forecast. All of the systems and their moisture well up to the north. Tomorrow we get a little more sunshine. By Sunday, you see a trough is digging in. Just brings another shot of cooler, cleaner air heading into your Monday. But as that system slides into our east, it's not bringing any rain here. With that, we'll start to stabilize Tuesday and Wednesday before another trough digs on in, just like that one for Monday. It's going to be well off into the Four Corners region. So that just leaves us with a healthy breeze and a bit of a cool down for Thanksgiving. Important that it will be dry with just passing clouds that day. In fact, this whole forecast is dry. Highs in the 60s, lows in the 40s. Seasonal for this time of year. And that's a look at some of the stories we're following at this hour. Don't forget, you can find breaking news, weather, and traffic anytime, anywhere. Take it along with you, our free mobile and tablet apps, and our website, turn to 23com Have a great day.